And she wanted me to And they're like, practice lots of times, but Jennifer, I'm sorry if I cry. Okay, just get through it, girl. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> wow, I'm astounded at the turnout. Your presence here today means so much more than any of you know. <laughs> On February 24, 2009, planning cake and presents for TJ's 15th birthday, I remember coming home from work highly anticipating hearing from Terry all that the doctor had to say from his appointment that day. I remember it was a Tuesday, and I remember that standing with Terry in our family room as he told me that the doctor asked him if he'd ever, ever heard of ALS. I remember my exact words and part of my friends were, what the hell is that? Neither of us had really heard of it or knew anything about it. Now I know there's probably a few people in this room who have consulted the great Wizard of Oz or what might be more commonly known as the internet when we've had a medical problem. How brutal the content when you Google the subject of ALS. I only read for maybe three minutes, but I took another two minutes to make sure I really comprehended what, was, what I was reading. As the information was absorbed, the pit of my stomach sank. It was at that moment that I knew our lives would change forever. Now we all know the obvious ways our lives have changed, but I feel it more important to point out how our lives have changed in ways that may not be so obvious to others. An extreme outpouring of love, support, kindness, and generosity from family, friends, co-workers, church, and school, and for that matter, people we don't even know. How amazing it is that in the midst of something so hard to swallow, that people can come together like this to make this benefit such a success. Now, I can't name everybody individually, as I know I would forget someone, but I have to say thank you, thank you, and thank you to everyone that's here today. This would not have been possible without any of you. So many of you did so much. There are friends here today, some of whom, for whom we haven't seen in as much as 15 years. And you all being here shows both Terry and I how much love and support there is out there. I know Terry is truly touched today. I cannot express to you enough how enormously appreciative we are. Terry is long overdue for some home modifications that will make his life easier and more importantly, safer. Without this benefit, that may not have been possible for another year. So again, I will say thank you for being here. We will cherish, cherish this day and hold it close to our hearts. Thank you all for coming. Amen.